Art and Science Nonprofit Gallery and Community Leader, Relational Space, is presenting Beyond Gender, The Future of Being Human, a new contemporary art and science installation during Pride Month. Portraits by Peter Eric Lopez of Tony, Grammy, and Emmy Award-winning Broadway deity Andre de Shields, drag icon Amanda Lepore, and Kevin Aviance are featured in the exhibition at Series Gallery, 547 West 27th Street, Suite 201 in New York through June 24th. The hours for the gallery are 12 to 6 p.m. Welcome to Backstage Pass with Leah Chang and congratulations Thank on you so your much, exhibition. Leah. Thank you so much. Leah. Do you want to tell me about the kind of art that you make and what you have on display in the exhibition? Sure. So um, I paint uh, prominent LGBTQ plus figures um, in the community, mostly people from New York City, um, just trying to um, give people who I think have not have a spotlight in the LGBTQ community proper, but not um, as much as they should outside. I mean, there are figures like Andre who's outside of the LGBTQ community because of Broadway, but people like Amanda Lepore and Kevin Aviance, I just wanted to capture these figures um, as they kind of blow up outside of the LGBTQ community because of the, um, as we progress as a society, um, thankfully, uh, we're starting to integrate more gay, lesbian, and trans people into um, our social spaces and our entertainment spaces, television, movie, um, and things like that. And how did you get involved with this particular exhibition? Uh, well, uh, they had an open call. Um, it's called Beyond Gender is the, is the exhibition's name. Um, and I answered the open call, and they were looking for artwork that um, spoke to the concept of what is it, what would a world be like beyond gender. And so because I painted so many LGBTQ plus um, portraits, they were really kind of attracted to the idea that I had um, portraits of people across the board, um, gay men, gay women, trans women, um, and so they wanted to use them for this exhibition. And how long have you been painting? Oh gosh, I think I, I always drew as a child and then I kind of dropped it for a long time. Um, and then I just picked it up like around 20, 2009, 2008, I think I picked up a paintbrush and started painting again. Um, mostly things off of photographs that I had and then I wanted to just kind of challenge myself as an exercise and paint people as they sat in front of me and that just turned into I just fell in love with doing it. I fell in love with having the conversations um, and capturing people in real time and then I came up with the idea of, of well what if I start looking at people who are kind of well known and challenging myself to kind of hunt for these people and kind of uh, because it's a challenge to get these people kind of nailed down to sit for me. Um, but it's a wonderful challenge. It is like a hunt. You know, you're, you, you, you just get into their Instagram DMs and you keep like hammering away at that until they say yes. And how did you connect with Andre? Um, my first foray is always through the Instagram um, direct messages. Uh, but then luckily for me, a lot of these celebrities also kind of have a link tree up, other ways to get in touch with them. And Andre had his email. So I emailed him, and he's one of the celebrities. Um, first of all, I, I was floored when he said yes. I mean, absolutely floored. But he got back to me right away um, via email. And I remember it was about 1 AM when I got the email. Typical. <laughs> <laughs> and so I was, typical for Andre. Yes, and I was up, and I was like, what? And I was like, this is a scam. This can't be him. It's 1 AM. Um, and uh, probably to Belante, first he said, I'm going to look at your website first and I'll get back to you. I said, okay, sir, whatever you have to do, sir. And then he got back to me and then uh, we hooked it up and he came and sat for me and it was absolutely, he was wonderful. And what was the experience like? How long typically does a portrait take for you? And, and obviously you're having someone sit for you live. Yeah, so I usually request two hours because I think after two hours, the sitter is exhausted and I'm exhausted. 
um, because it's not just them sitting there. It's, we're having a conversation, and it's a lot of work. Um, sometimes I'll go for three hours. Andre went for three hours. He was a trooper. And, um, and then I'll take a photograph, and I'll do the rest off of a photograph. Okay. Yeah. Um, but Andre was, Andre was wonderful, very sagacious, very giving, very... Um, and, and after I finished painting, he stayed with me for another hour where we just chatted, and it was wonderful. So in, our, in addition to your life as an artist, you have a whole other life. Would you like to share what you do? Yeah, I'm a high school teacher um, of 11 years. I teach in Harlem, uh, Wadley High School of Performing Arts. Shout out to Wadley. Um, and I teach middle school art and um, high school English. Yes. <laughs> yes. Isn't that fantastic? It's pretty good. Yeah, he, 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 got, he got the essence of you. Yeah. And I, that's what I appreciate about Peter's work is powerful. Right, he and got my hands. Yes, the hands, they're all positioned Those are lovely. My mother's hands. And the, yes, it's a slight tilt. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming out. Of course, here. I wouldn't have missed it for the world. Right? I yeah. mean, what talent. Oh, thank you. I mean, seriously. I agree. Did you? Amazing. Amazing. Thank you.